Good morning. Today I was walking into the kitchen, opened up my little tea drawer, and I look inside and I see mice poop. <laughs> Here's the thing mice, very cute actually. I mean, they have little tiny ears and little, little hands, and they're so cute. But when you see that they've chewed into your tea bags and then left their little poopy droppings in there. Ew. That was really upsetting. I think it's gotten worse because we went out of town, so there was not a lot of activity in the kitchen. So they were like, oh, free rain, they're gone. Um, anyways, I'm a little bit surprised as well because not only the tea bags, but also my coffee packets. These are some of my favorite little coffees to have. They're mushroom latte mixes. So it's got like coconut milk powder in it and mushroom powder and I'm assuming the smell of that is like driving them to chew into them but they literally chew through this plastic and it is like it's heavy duty it's not cheapy plastic mind you marshmallows were sitting right next to them and they didn't want to get into these I don't know we got to deal with it today because I'm not going to let it get worse I'm afraid they'll get into my pantry over here and that would be just devastating. One more thing. It does have me thinking, what did people do way back in the day when they were living in log cabins and they just had a loaf of bread sitting on the counter? Were the mice not getting in there? Where were the mice? What were they doing? Not like gonna jump to getting poison, but I just wanna know there wasn't poison back then. So what were, what were they doing? Did they have a cat inside? Not everyone could have a cat inside. I don't know. The point is, we're going to deal with it today. I've already cleaned out the drawer, sanitized it, but I want to organize my pantry because one, I need to do it anyways. And two, I sure as heck don't want to wait until the mice find their way into there. So I just want to go ahead and get a handle on keeping things organized, putting them in glass containers that are sealed tight so there's no way they can chew through anything because nothing would be more upsetting then going to make some holiday cookies, opening the drawer and finding that a mouse has, you know, let himself in there to chew up some stuff. Counter's still kind of messy because I'm cleaning, but this is my pantry. Alrighty. Here we go. Here we go. Got one screw. Oh my. Okay, so. That I got off of Facebook Marketplace and cleaned it up and we had to like put some stuff under there you can't really see it when you're looking but i had to do that because our floors aren't even because our house is over 150 years old so um i love it i like that it matches the floor pretty great that it worked out that way and i changed out the knobs changed out those knobs to these little horse heads and it's a mess in here i know i'm going to change that though and we're going to organize this today this actually used to be an entertainment center and we turned it into our pantry since we don't have a pantry in our kitchen. This is it, this little cabinet. Um, and it's okay for now because it's just Russ and I, so that's good. I will, I guess, take you on a little bit of a tour. Um, these bottom shelves are somewhat organized already. This drawer already came ready. And then we installed these shelves that we bought online and then screwed them in so i've got my canned goods and usually it's stacked more than that but i'm running low i just need to get some more and i've also got my other you know pantry goods so that's there down here i have canned goods that i did myself from my peaches that i have actually a youtube video on this doesn't look very appetizing but it's chia peach butter and it's really good I also have some dried fruit back there. And I also keep my 30 pound bag of white jasmine rice. Some of those bulk things that is so much cheaper for me to buy that way. And then some dried fruit back there. Up here is where I really have yet organized things. So. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just take everything out.
was never the one to write up a song for just anyone. I, I was always the one. To this is what I've been keeping my baked goods in, and it's, you know, it is what it is. Um, getting a new container for it would look a little bit better. So I've also this needs to not be in there. It's a stragglers root. Some stevia. Gosh, that's got to be so old. Okay, so I could get a container for that. I think everything else in here is pretty safe. Um, got some extracts. So next up are these containers that I keep my different types of flour in. I will add that since I've started bringing gluten back into my diet and I've been using einkorn flour, I really haven't touched these in a while. Um, I used to use a ton of different flour blends all the time when I was creating gluten-free recipes, but I really narrowed it down to using the most is cornmeal, <laughs> brown rice flour, and oat flour, and then my einkorn, which I'll go grab that bag really quick. Jovial Foods einkorn flour. I know gluten is so demonized and I'm not going to spend the whole video talking about it, but I don't think all gluten is inflammatory. I just think it depends on sourcing. So for me, this has been a game changer and I've been able to cook and bake, not really cook, but I've been able to bake with flour again, whole wheat flour. So this is, uh, einkorn is just a type of grain that contains gluten. So it's an ancient grain. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about it. But I love this. This has allowed me to bring wheat back into my diet. So I usually buy pretty big bags of it. This is a two and a half pound, no two pound. And I usually buy 10 pound bags. I don't know how I'm gonna store that yet. Rice flowers and my iron corn. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a jar. Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along. Alright, I went shopping for some of my favorite things. Um, I just went to TJ Maxx because it's like the closest home goods store near me, and you know how I live where everything is far away. Alright, quickly running through what I purchased. I ended up getting this clear container for my vanilla extracts and the random sprinkles that I have because as much as I wanted to get a pretty little tray, I need something that's gonna be clear, easy to clean and see if anything is ever leaking like a jar of molasses. So went with this clear thing. Also for me, it's not as important to have everything aesthetically pretty when the cabinet doors are closed, 95. Okay, like 99% of the time. <clears throat> I picked up a couple of these twist tops. These are plastic. Um, of course, BPA free and all that stuff. But I just hope that they last. Um, I got these. I don't really know what I'm using things for yet, but I got two of these. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these, but I have this idea that maybe... For some of my flowers that I don't feel like putting in containers or mason jars because I don't use them that often, I can leave them in the bag and put them in a completely enclosed container like this one. So this one has a bamboo lid and it's not like seal proof or anything like that, but I do believe that nothing could crawl up in there. Um, even if I, you know, felt like, oh my gosh, something, I mean, nothing's gonna get in it though. I think these would be really good for maybe the smaller bags that you get for arrowroot starch or tapioca flour, things that sometimes you just need a small amount of, but it is helpful to have them on hand when you're someone like me who often does make some gluten-free treats every once in a while. So I got these for that. We'll see if I keep them. I'm not totally sure. Got one of these size. I also got this jar I thought was really pretty. Unfortunately, they only had one, but I'm going to keep a lookout. This is just one of those seal top lids, and I thought this would be nice for something. I don't know what yet. <laughs> I got a couple of these sizes. Um, this is just like a nice wide mouth snap top lid. Let's wash these out and start filling up the pantry. 
Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. All right, so I've finished cleaning. Also go that way. Can go pretty far back because they're tall. Awesome. Cute. All right, just a little update on things that I've organized so far. In this drawer down here, I've got my black beans and my white beans and my bone broth and chicken stock. This is a really great chicken stock from Costco. Uh, it doesn't have any strange ingredients in it and it's sugar-free. So I really like to keep that on hand if I need it. Also, sometimes we'll keep veggie stock too, but I prefer chicken stock. And then I've got our run random thing of ketchup back there just in case. <laughs> side over here is pretty much the same as before. Over the years, I do expect my canned goods section to really increase. And I'm going to deal with that as the time comes, but for now, it's okay. I've got my potatoes and hard squashes. I imagine I might get a second basket because sometimes it does overflow a little bit. As far as my sprinkles go, I'm sure I will try and get rid of those. I honestly don't buy sprinkles. I really don't buy sprinkles, but they were given to me. I also found these. I forgot that I had this. It's like a natural food coloring. There is, let's see what the green one is. I think it's matcha. Read it. Anyways, I think it's like matcha and turmeric and it's a natural food coloring. So that's kind of cool. Okay, flower box. Now you might be thinking, how am I going to know that the other flowers are in there? I'm just going to have to remember. I feel so free. Oh my sweet baby. That is a nice jar. I was never the one to give up. And that'll be fine. All right, so the second shelf is pretty much done. I'm going to leave my flowers and the containers. The other flowers are up on the shelf. And all I need to do is add my oat flour. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I these are really great for s'mores night and again we've just been having a lot of little campfires so i'm gonna do those i'm just gonna do my vegan marshmallows that's very satisfying you know what will it always fit like that no but for now that is good stuff. Perfect. I've got this jar and it's been holding cacao nibs. It's never really been big enough. And also the top is really gross. Um, it's just, I don't even know where I got it to be honest. So being the sanitary girl that I want to be, um, I have these cacao nibs that I enjoy. Beautiful. The older ones, I'm just gonna put on top. Jars have a little bit of the label residue. I'm just gonna take a citrus, a citrus oil. Um, I think most people use lemon, but I'm not really, I don't have a lot of essential oils. So this is what I got. And I'm just gonna use what I got, so. Oopsie, two drops, it's probably more than enough. That was so easy, just so you know. And it smells good. Clean in my cacao powder, coconut sugar, which I'm very low on. So I, need I also added baking powder into this pretty little jar 
I might keep it on the shelf, but for now, I'm just gonna stick it right here with the baking stuff. So the last shelf is this top one here. The nuts and seeds are pretty much a given of what it is, so I don't really need to talk through that. The nut butters, we have some corn chips, some crackers. Nothing was changing, but with you it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Cause I finally learned my lesson. I'm at a stopping point for now. You can see I have a lot more room to be flexible with and I'll give you an update in the next month or so on how it builds up and I can get a little bit more stock and storage going, but I feel more organized this way. And I am honestly excited just to hopefully keep it this way, even as I start to collect more things, but it feels good to really purge a lot of the stuff that I wasn't using anymore and just kind of holding on to and it had expired. So until then, I'll keep you posted. That's all for now. I know it might not seem like a lot, but I have more stuff in this cabinet, like nut butters that I'm using and granola ingredients. Um, anyways, I'm going to finish the video here because I know it's been a long one. I want to say thanks for hanging out with me as I organize. I've still got so much to pick up in this kitchen because I've got miscellaneous stuff everywhere. But this kitchen has a very long way to go. I still am looking forward to changing out my countertops, finishing the backsplash, and just adding a few little things to personalize it for me. But at least the pantry is organized. So that's a good start. Either way, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I hope to uh i hope to see you in the comments let me know if you have any questions um or video requests for the upcoming months as we're getting into the colder seasons here in the united states so either way i will catch you later all right bye